Hello, there's a brand new version of ReCut out and it has a much better timeline. So let's take a look at what it can do. So here in ReCut, I'm gonna drag in a file and it's gonna find the silence, same as always. And we can click on these segments still and these things, we could always delete them like that. But now in the new version, you can drag the edges of them and customize them individually in case you need to say, maybe take one away from the edge of a word if it cuts something off or if it was too far away from something you can move it closer. And same as the deleted areas, these things are, they stay fixed in place as you change the settings. So if we adjust stuff, uh, they stay where they are. The next big feature is control over the clips themselves. So ReCut has always had this split between segments and clips, where segments are the red and blue spots on the, little, uh, the audio waveform here and clips are the entire file. So you, when you're in clips mode, you can click on the whole thing and move it around. So in the new version, we've got control over clips beyond just moving them around. We can actually split them now. So I can put the playhead wherever I want and click the split button and it's gonna split it right there. And I can move it over here and I can also press B on the keyboard and it'll do the same thing. And now I've got this split part right here and if I wanna delete it, I just hit backspace and it's gone and it slides over the uh, it slides over to close the gap. You can also, uh, if you didn't want to do that, you can hit Command Z, it undoes the change and it brings it back. So to look at another new feature, I'll hit undo one more time. And now we're back to here where there's one split. So I can actually drag the edge of a clip now and trim it. Uh, we can also trim the other end and we can move stuff around. So if you need to make any edits that way, you can drag an edge, trim it over, move it over like that. And that works just as well too. Now let's drag in a second file and I want to put it next to this file. So it used to be that if you dragged in a file, it would always go on the bottom. So if I dragged it in, it goes down here and there was no way to put them next to each other. But in the new version there is. So let me undo that. And I'm going to drag this in while holding shift. And you can see it's going to say adding side by side and it's going to throw it right here. So now I've got files here and I can drag in a couple more holding shift and it puts them here. So that's really nice if you've been wanting to put uh, files side by side, if you've got multiple clips for a take or something. Uh, let me undo that. And I can also show you that if you happen to put one down here and you wanna move it over there, you can just drag this clip and just put it up here. So you can move clips around between tracks now too. Another nice new feature is that we can finally save and load projects. So you might have noticed the title bar, instead of saying recut, it has a recut project file name here. It's actually been auto saving this entire time. And if I change something, you can see in a couple seconds, it'll say auto saved. You can also hit command S and it'll save immediately. So this is really nice. Um, it's been missing for a while, but now we finally have save and open project. And if you want to find where these projects go, you can click on File Reveal Project Folder and it'll open it up for you. These go under your uh, under Documents. So it's like Home Directory, Documents, Recut Projects. On Windows, it'll be under your Documents folder too. And another nice thing is these projects, they auto-save and they also auto-restore. So if the app crashes or something, when you open it up the next time, it'll, it'll have this here. There's also a new, simpler version of the silence settings. So if you're an existing user, when you open up the app, it's gonna bring you to the, uh, the standard kind of view like this, but you can click on simple mode and it'll slide over to this. And so now you still have access to change the threshold, but you can also change this intensity slider, which is pretty much just presets. So as you drag this around, it will cut out kind of more or less of the audio up to super where it cuts as much as possible. And what these are really doing is changing the sliders. So if anytime you could just click customize and you can drag stuff around from this starting point and uh, tweak it to be how you want it. Now you might have noticed this new remove silence button. Let's click on that. So when you click this, it actually deletes all the red areas and leaves you with the cut up timeline as a bunch of clips. And so let me undo that. You can also hit Command Z, Control Z to undo that action and bring back whatever you had. Um, so by default, when you click this, it's just gonna instantly delete the silence. Uh, if you want the fun animation, hold shift and hit the button, and then it animates the deletion. I just thought that was fun.
Now, Recut never had a button like this before, and it just removed the silence when you export. So it still does that. If you don't click this button, it's going to remove the silent parts when you do the export. Uh, but if you want to remove them kind of proactively, you can do that with this button. And so maybe this will be a, a useful workflow for some folks. If you wanted to kind of tweak things, you can remove silence and then change some settings. And then maybe it'll, it'll find more silent areas and you can remove silence again. Um, if you want to kind of do things in, in phases like that, you can do that now. So that's the big stuff. We also have a couple small things. The skip button is now here. There used to be a checkbox here that says skip silence. Now it's right next to the play button. And when it's on like this, when you play, it will skip over the red parts to give you a preview of how it'll sound once all the silence is removed. What else have we got? This frame rate down here is now a standard looking frame rate instead of whatever it was before. And you can click on this time and switch it to frames or seconds if you wanted. I mostly just added this for debugging, but I left it in because it seems kind of useful. So that's the new recut. It's a free update for existing customers and it should prompt you to update the next time you launch the app. This update took months of effort to get done with lots of code deleted and rewritten and created from scratch. And I just wanted to say thank you for your patience. I know a lot of you have been waiting a long time for these features and I hope you like them. I hope they're helpful. I hope it was worth the wait. Thank you for watching and I will see you around.